I have never done any of these before. Um, so this is going to be a completely new experience and something that is proper out of my comfort zone. However, I am very aware that this is very current and a lot of people when I put up yesterday that they wanted, to, whether they wanted to do the product recommendation or technique recommendation, um, a fair few, to be fair, the majority um, said technique. Um, and a lot of people were asking about um, products and specific things that I use. Um, so today, tanning day, bear with the colour of the skin um, and the fact that I have barely any makeup on whatsoever. It's literally probably been skin prep more than anything. Um, I've just done a massive order for um, from Look Fantastic. Um, not sure if anybody's used that before. Um, that follows me or necessarily um, aware. It's an amazing website. It's got pretty much everything. High street, um, more of your high end brands, um, really big mix of skincare, hair care and beauty products, obviously makeup. Um, so I'm gonna talk you through um, part of what I box, otherwise we'll be here all day. Two massive boxes, went a bit excited. Um, so the first one that I wanna share with you is a bit of a go-to. Um, that I've used um, for a while now. I've just had to buy a new one. Um, obviously, now I'm up and running and back to doing makeup, which is amazing. Um, I've done a bit of an overhaul and had to either update or replenish stock that has gone past its expiry. So first thing, um, I love this Glow Tonic from Pixi. Um, it exfoliates, it brightens, it replenishes skin cells. It's incredible and a really good starter for literally just cleaning off the skin in preparation for the prep stage of doing your makeup. So massively huge fan of this product. Um, I've decided with age, having to admit that I am now getting older, makeup doesn't sit the same way as it used to on me. Um, hoping I'm not the only one in their mid to late thirties um, who have felt like this. Um, so I've gone a little bit lighter with my own makeup. Um, I am one that's always loved medium to full coverage. Um, I like that flawless finish to my skin. It doesn't necessarily look like me now, so any fine lines or um, pigmentation that I've got um, is definitely getting worse as I'm getting older. Um, so I've gone a little bit lighter. I've started using a CC cream, which is really um, light coverage, feels like I've barely got anything on and hugely hydrating. Um, but instead of doing the powder products that I used to do on myself um, for bronzing, blush, highlight, I've now gone more towards the liquid side. And these are products that I hugely rate, um, especially if like me, you are getting that little bit older. Um, so this is the Shantikai Radiance Gel Bronzer. You need the tiniest amount. So yes, it is a little bit more expensive, especially um, than like the powder bronzers, but you need the tiniest, tiniest amount. So this is the tube, the like tiny size, um, but not even a pea size. And I literally go down my cheekbone um, and up through the hairline down the center of my nose um, and it helps as a contouring as well. So as, as though, although it's got that sort of glow to it, it will give you the sculpted finish and is so much um, more natural looking on your skin because it still keeps that natural sort of glow to it. So huge fan of this, would recommend this massively. They also do a cheek tint, which is in my kit. Um, and it's literally just a flush of color. I think they've got about four or five different colors um, and the peach tone in it is to die for, especially in the summer period when the sun's out and your skin gets a little bit more of a glow um, brown tone, unless you're like me, who is almost blue white. I'm that Scottish complexion, um, so I have to use fake tan, but again, the peach still works. Um, another cheek product, which I've just bought, is the Colour Veil um, from Illamasqua. Now, again, you need a tiny, tiny amount. And if you use a fluffy brush um, or your fingers, but I think a fluffy brush works really well. So the dual fibre ones are really nice and just give a light finish. Um, okay, and you work from the lid. It's really pretty. Tiny little pot, but again, 
it's um it's beautiful and just adds a really nice flush so you can use it on the apples of your cheeks um, and brush up up the way and because it's got that creamy finish again it's really flattering um, and it adds that sort of dewy glow so it's far more natural than a powder blush which I used to use um, a lot. A product which I genuinely don't think I could do without um, is the Hydra Veil. I use this a lot on my um, bridal makeups um, and the bridal parties. This is a really good primer. Um, it's really hydrating. It's really cooling. So you put it on the skin and you feel refreshed just putting it on, um, which I've never actually experienced from a primer before. Um, it's lovely. So you can tell I've used this already. So it comes with a tiny little spatula which clicks on to the top um, and keeps it in place. And it means that you can use it a lot easier without overusing. Um, it's, it looks black, it really isn't black, it's clear. Um, but it comes out almost like a jelly. It's quite odd um, when you first use it, you'll probably be a bit daunted by it. Um, but it comes out like a jelly and as you use it with your fingertips onto the skin, um, it goes into a really like refreshing fluid, almost like water consistency and feels beautiful. Um, definitely nice when you're putting your makeup on first thing in the morning to wake you up. Um, and I just find that makeup sits really nicely on it. Um, no matter whether you're using a large, like a heavier coverage or a fuller coverage or whether you're going for something a little bit lighter like I've been turning to. Um, really, really nice products. Can't recommend them enough. I've got so many to go through. Um, didn't want to do a massive reel for my first one because I don't know how well I'm going to come across. Um, let me know what you think and um, I will keep you updated with other products and I am going to do Technique. Um, so for all those who voted yesterday that they'd like Technique, I will be doing it. I think the most popular one that's come across is liner. Um, how to do an easy liner without getting it wrong and without looking like Amy Winehouse. So I will be touching on that. I'll do one in the next week or so um, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, let me know what you think. If you think it's horrendous, by all means I'll not be offended. I'd just rather know. Okay, thank you.